It's been recorded. Hi, right, can you see me? No, yeah, buddy. Oh, wait, let's start video. There? Yep. Oh, shucks, let go. me change my background. That was <laughs> Shucks, I haven't done this in ages. No, background. Um, none. Sweet. There. How you doing, Sweet. mate? How you doing, mate? Yeah, good, thanks, man. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Uh, thanks for taking your time out of your day to jump on the interview with me, mate. No worries. I really appreciate what? it, buddy. That. <laughs> yeah, that's it, mate. And I'm, a, I'm a Bronco supporter, hard out. So. Are you? Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, just to give you a bit of a rundown of what I do for my page, mate. Um, so I promote the game here in Perth. Yeah. Um, I go to local games, uh, take photos, juniors and seniors, videos, all that sort of stuff. Um, I shared with you the other day some of the uh, harmony. Yeah, lines, yeah, yeah. That was cool. The song and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, went to that tournament the other day. Um, yeah, and then I also shared news of rugby league stuff that's going around the, uh, for the supporters. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll get into it, mate. Um, so you played 12 games for the Broncos. Yeah, I, I was the 12, I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for in 2020. Um, yeah. You make, you make your debut, come off the bench for the, against the Cowboys, mate. How, how was that yeah. feeling for you, mate? Man, it was a real surreal feeling. Um, uh, unbelievable, to be honest. Uh, it took me so long to get there, you know. So I was a lot more appreciative than I'm guessing most young guns that come and get it when they're like 18, 19, you know. So you know, I had a, I had a long, long road before I got there. So once I got there, you know, I just, I uh, just try to take it in, enjoy the week, enjoy the game, and um, yeah, it was everything I dreamed of. So it was perfect. No, oh, that's the way, mate. That's the way. Yeah. Um. So you were originally in 2012. Um, you were unfortunately let go by Parramatta. Uh, you know, yeah. Do off field things. Um, yeah. You got picked up by Manly as well. Yeah. Well, um, I'm a Manly junior. I'm a Manly junior, and then I went to um, I signed with Para. Okay. I signed yeah. with Para, and then obviously my off field behaviour, which has been a problem for me all my life, but um, yeah, which which uh, made me they they got rid of me so. It opened up another door back here at Manly. So, um, yeah, yeah nice. that's how it all fell out, if I panned out. Yeah, yeah nice. And then, unfortunately, uh, like you said, a, bit, a couple more things at Manly happened, off-field stuff. Yeah. Um, you, get, you get sacked by them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, talking about your um, the stuff after Manly, where you, you unfortunately did get sent to prison. Yeah. Um, how did you come through um, all that in the dark times, mate? Like, for the people that are... That will watch his head. You, yeah, you you come through it and just Man, make that um, positive light. Family, family was massive. Uh, my family, you know, just being there. Obviously, my family and my my closest friends. You know, you realize when you go to jail, you realize who your real friends are. Um, so, and then that's when I realized how small my circle was. <laughs> you know, at, at 19, 20, you like to think you're best friends with with everyone, but um, yeah, I soon realized. Uh, after going to jail, who my real friends were. And, yeah, I, I noticed that my circle was really small, which is a good thing. So, you know, I, I knew where to give my energy to. But, um, yeah, my family, my close friends, were they got me through the hard times. Um, you know, I thought at a young – I was I wouldn't get locked up. I was 19, turning 20. So, at that age, you know, I'm at that age, you're, I thought it was over. But now I'm at this age – Looking back, you don't realise when you're that young that you got so much life ahead of you, you know. But I thought it was that I thought I was done and dusted. Thought my career was over. So those were yeah, really tough times for me. But um, if it wasn't for my family and friends, man, I don't know what what would have happened. Yeah, definitely. That's absolutely right, mate. You know, your close circle, mate, your family, friends are the ones that help, do yeah. help you through things. Uh, speaking yeah. of family, family, mate, you know, yeah, famous father in John. Yeah. Uh, Manly, manly cult hero. Yeah, um, and then your your younger brother Will. Um, yeah. yeah, he's had a, he's was he play for Manly, Parramatta Bulldogs as well. Yeah, so. Parramatta Bulldogs, and now he's uh, heading over to the UK to St Helens. Yep, but absolutely. yeah, he's had a pretty decorated um career, which is good on him. I'm happy for him, and um, yeah, there's still there's a couple more under me, which there's oh, actually there's a, about five more coming through. So everyone, watch oh, out. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way, man. Um, how did you how did yourself deal with you know 
when you did get to Para and Manly and then eventually to the Broncos, how did you yeah. sort of live up to the, I guess, the hype with your family name? Uh, man, yeah, it is pretty tough, especially with my dad. You know, he played Origin Australia, so he was always, um, you know, he's pretty pretty well, well respected in the footy, you know, footy world. Uh, Will obviously uh, burst out of the scenes at 19 and played Origin, so those are two already two big shoes to shoes to fill and you know not uh with me I, I wasn't really blessed with the you know with the strength and the speed like they were but I sort of had to work harder for my you know for my position so it was a bit tough um but in saying that they them to be massive um support to me so uh even though it was tough uh, trying to live up to their standard and being known as John's son or Will's brother um I guess having them as a Support and guideline have really helped me, anyways. Yeah, of course. So I was a bit, bit of you know, up and down. <laughs> yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the pressure that come with that would have been, yeah, just yeah, yeah, it's enormous. Pretty crazy. But, yeah, but you know, like, when when you did play for the Broncos, mate, I was me personally, I was a huge fan of yours. I I love oh, the way that appreciate that, man. My first couple of games, I was. I was getting slammed on social media. <laughs> uh, I, I love the way that you, you ran the ball. You uh, ran you ran it hard, and that's what I love to see. Um, yeah. Yourself um, and Alex Glenn in the yeah. new new newer crop of players, and um, Payne Haas as well. Yeah, yeah. You, you three were the the guys that I love. I love to watch because it reminded me of the older days when uh, guys. Just- you know, I really appreciate that coming from you, man. Like. Like I said, uh, they got rid of me, so I was yeah. kind of like I thought I did did okay, you know, to to get another contract. And when they got rid of me, I just I was a bit, you know, a bit lost to be honest, to because I didn't yeah. know what was going on. I thought I did all right, but in uh, Kevy's eyes, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't want me. So um, I appreciate yeah. your appreciate that support, man. Feels, no, that's uh, all good, mate. Feels good, bro. Uh, I honestly, I I was very surprised when they didn't offer you one uh, another contract because, like I said, I was a huge fan. I was I was scratching my head, going, "What what are they doing? What are they up to?" <laughs> well, you know, that's the and- thing. I was uh, they did they so before the season ended, the the staff already told me that I was going to stay there. But then Kevy came in and they he had other plans, so they had to they just yeah. The the, the thing that hurt me most is that they didn't even call me. They they told my manager to tell me that they didn't want me. Yeah, so I saw right. that was a bit of disrespect because I thought, uh, you know, we were at least, you know, man to man just come tell me to, to my face and instead of going through my manager. But uh, that's yep. the, you know, it's all business. So that's how they went. Yeah. Um, how did you, how do you, like, obviously you still have contact with the boys that are still there. Yeah. How do you think they're um, transitioning, going from... Um, uh, the previous coach to Kevy's style of uh, coaching. Um, hey, sorry, is that is that really loud? This is my, it's my sister. I'm in my sister's room because my daughter's asleep. It's oh, um, so her, 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 she's, her work computers on. I don't know how to work these things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to turn it down or whatever. But I hope that's not annoying you. Um, no, that's all right, mate. No, I feel like, I feel like they did. Um, I feel like they did a uh, really good this year. Well, obviously they still are towards the bottom of the ladder, but they did a lot better than last year. So. And now they got more signings, so it's only up for them. Yeah, um, the team's very young, all guns. Uh, once they find that click, you know, who who knows what's going to happen. But now nah, they're on the up. That's all I can say. I can yeah. see as well. I can um, I could see in the last probably half of the year or three uh, in the last quarter of the year. Yeah, the game just turned around. Big they time. started clicking, you know. That's that's yeah. what that's all. That, well, I feel like they, I think they just started to go back to sort of park footy and enjoy football, you know? I feel like sort of they, they were just too much trying to, I don't know, I think the media and that was just sort of getting to them. But then they started just enjoying each other's company and enjoying each other's company on the field and they showed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and like you said, they've got some big signings coming this year. Um, Adam Reynolds, yeah. Kirk Cakewell, um, Franco Lee as well. Um, and then yeah, they yeah, yeah. they got a massive signings. Um, yeah, so no, I reckon they'll, they'll go pretty good this year. Oh, next year. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty exciting. Definitely, mate. Um, have you got any advice for young kids coming up through the grades, mate, that are looking to um, push for, uh, you know... Uh, yeah, man. Um, any sport in particular or...? 
Um, just stay away from the drink. That is my main one. <laughs> uh, the party will always be there, you know. Don't um, I, which was bad for me. Uh, and choose your friends wisely. Uh, I sort of had a lot of party friends, and I always wanted to be the cool guy and go party with them. And, and look, it showed with my off-field behaviour and my drinking problems now. So, um, you know, party will always be there, but you know, there's a time to do it. Um, at the beginning of your career, just knuckle down, get there first. You know, cement your spot and then you can, you know, enjoy it sometime. I'm not saying never drink, but just pick and choose your times wisely. Um, I didn't, you know, I I was every Friday, Friday to Sunday party, go to work Monday to Friday and then do it again on Friday to Sunday. So, and it shows, show, it showed in my whole off-field behavior, my whole career, I've just been in and out of trouble and that's all because of the dream. Um, so, yeah, pick and choose your friends and your your party times wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's very good advice, mate. Um, you know, I know that you come from a big family, mate. Um, how many brothers and sisters do you do you have, mate? So there's eleven all up. Um, seven boys, four girls. So yeah, massive nice. family. Um, yeah, so nice. like I said, there's still far more boys coming through. Oh, actually, one's already debuted for Manly. He's at Raiders now, Albert. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And then yeah, there's still four more coming through. So yeah, watch out. <laughs> yeah. What was it like growing up in um, yeah such a big family, mate? No, nah, it, it was very um, it was fun. Well, it was good for me because uh, I was I'm the oldest, so I got to just you know live like a king, tell the younger ones what to do. <laughs> That's the way. But coming through when 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 me and Will um, me and Will were coming through, we got all the punishment. My my parents are a lot lenient now with the younger ones, which makes me very angry because. Because they get away with everything, and you know? I mean, we all got pumped for everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was fun, fun, fun house, you know. Never quiet, never dull yeah. moments. So it was, yeah, it was really fun. So yeah, well, my... Yeah, I don't know how to shut it up. I don't know how to. Um, I'm not good with technology. Uh, that's so annoying. Sorry. No, no you're right, man. It's really good. Uh, it's so loud. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're up. Yeah, yeah. No. My myself. We got me. And my partner. We got um. Twelve kids between us. So we got um. Twelve. Yeah. Oh, we got ten. Oh shit! Man. I thought I thought it was only an Islander thing with the <laughs> with the all the kids in the world. Bro, you still look young as too. Yeah, mate. I'm I'm Thousands. thirty-three. Yeah, mate. Yeah. What What are you, Aussie? Yeah, I'm I'm Aussie. My missus is a Maldi. Oh man, that's the first. You're the first Aussie I know that had a, that has a big family like that. That's nuts, eh? Good on you. <laughs> so yeah, yeah oh, so, well you know, then it's just a busy household. You know, there's cries, laughs, everything, all in one, all in one day. Oh, you could have a lot of yeah, cries exactly. and a lot of laughs. It's it's very funny and like I said, never a dull moment in the house. <laughs> yeah, definitely, mate. Um, what was it like with um your dad? Yeah, playing, uh, being basically being away like every weekend, um, with him with his footy. Um, in the um, to be honest, hey, to be honest, man, I um don't really remember much as a kid. He he played while I was quite young, so didn't really. I can't really remember him out of the house, but I do remember the media around a lot. That's the only thing I remember. But um, the only thing that's a bit torture now, like coming through school, obviously everyone teasing me about the finger, you know. <laughs> um, that was the only torture thing about his career that affected me. But yeah, other than that. I uh, don't really remember much to be honest, but I was obviously just seeing all the the media stuff all around him. So, yeah, that's the only thing that affected. I guess um, I don't know about. I can't speak for Will, but yeah, sure sh- 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 did my head in when kids would try to tease me about the finger, um, and I got a bad temper on me, so that never turned out well. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, so, um, yeah. With uh, you know, your dad's jumped in the boxing ring a couple of times, mate. Is that something that you're uh, gonna look look to do as well? Yeah, man. I, so I was meant to fight this December with him in Cairns. It's like a footy fight. Like, I think uh, I was gonna maybe. Uh, I think I was, was talks. I was gonna verse Matty Bowen, um, but yeah. Now I'm um, now I'm going through trouble again. Silly me, but um, I'm going through court again. So now I can't fight. But my dad will be fighting. But yeah, nah. Boxing. I've, I've definitely. Um, I've always enjoyed boxing. So um, you know who, who knows? I, I, I would like it in the ring though. So see what happens. Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, you, like you just mentioned, you're going through some other stuff now. Um, any yeah. 
do you, are you trying to get back into the NRL or do you think maybe your time's well, over? Uh, or what do you man, think? Man, it's a it's a bit of a it's a it's a bit of a long shot. Um, especially with the integrity unit, you know, they're cracking down hard on these players, and I've already had a couple chances. So, depending on what happens with my court case and how long it takes, whatever, then yeah, I'll sit down after and see. But at the moment. Yeah, at the moment, the, um, all my focus is on just, you know, keep my nose clean and uh, fighting this case. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, are you married, married kids? No, nah, I'm not married. Uh, I've, got a, I've got two kids, though, um, two like, uh, different mothers. My, my partner now, I've got a adult daughter to her, which is the youngest. Uh, she's uh, one and a half now. Um, so, yeah, very, very fun time. I love them at this age, you know, they're cuddly, kissy. So yeah, yeah. Uh, they they grow very, very fast, but um, my eldest is six, turning seven. Yeah. So yeah, she's starting to get to the 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 hard stage. <laughs> Her teenage years <laughs> is already haunting me. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, sorry, mate. Um, what else have you been up to these days? Um, you know, are you back working nah, or no. are you? No, nah, not much. So I, I was, oh, I just got out of, um, I just come out of jail like a couple of months ago. So I'm on house arrest at the moment. So lucky we got a big backyard and it's for brothers to train with. So I just train every day and um, yeah, just trying to sort out my my job now with with the courts and my lawyers. So yeah, at the moment just training with my brothers, which is pretty fun because uh, yeah, they're all they're all home at the moment until they all ship off to wherever they have to go for footy. But um, yeah, very busy household training here. Oh, nice. Well, at least you know, you'll be able to give them, you know, that little bit of experience of what you've had in the NRL, mate. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah exactly. You know, it's not just your, your dad and Will. You know, you got yourself as well. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, I guess, I guess so. But they'll probably just listen to my dad and Will anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So, with your um, with your twelve games that you did play, mate, is there any um sort of game or instant in those games that sort of stood out for you? Um, nah, just just how um, especially with the new rule, uh, just how fast the NRL is compared to um, you know, reserve grade. So up in Q Cup, they're they're pretty physical up there. So the physicality wise, there wasn't nothing different to Q Cup, but yeah, just just speed, man. So I can usually last easy eighty minutes in a reserve grade game, but. Yeah, it was pretty tough up when playing NRL. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. But, um, yeah, nah, just the speed were very, you know, and, and the players, just everyone, you know, the experienced players are just, they're playing, um, they're all playing chess while, while I was playing checkers. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, oh, shit, I'm oh, sorry, I forgot my question now. Um, You're all right, man. You're all right. Yeah, you, you think of that while I, I, I don't know how to, this um, thing's doing my head in. I can't get I don't know how to turn it off. The volume. Actually, you know what? I might just go to my I'll just go to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there, there we go. He's a better... uh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. There we go. Um was it anyone as a kid, was there anyone um who inspired you? Yeah, um, uh well obviously my dad was an inspiration um when my brother was coming through here because he was killing it you know when i was young younger so he was another inspiration um the matty bowen which was funny i was gonna fight him i don't know if i could have hit him because he was a he was an idol of mine um who else was there hangy you know just uh, or just all the all the standard guns (laughs) (laughs) yeah nice was there anything in but, particular about those guys that sort of stood out for you or why they were your inspiration? Oh, just, just the freak of nature that they were, you know. Um, I guess that would do a lot of that inspiration to heaps of young guns, um, young, you know, young players because they just, just dominated in what they do, did and they were exciting to watch, you know, um, especially for diehard footy fans. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Matt, Matty Bowen was one of mine. Um, yeah. Obviously, Sonny Bill for his Poirier Islander, but yeah, but Will and Will, my dad, definitely inspiration. Yeah, cool. Um, no, that's all the questions I've got for you today, man. I, like I said, man, I really appreciate your time, buddy. Oh, good, man. I appreciate uh, you. 
Uh, well, awesome, mate. Um, good luck with everything that's coming up, mate. Um, hope all the best for you, mate. So thanks, brother, and, and love to your family, mate. Yep, same to you, eh? Appreciate it. Thanks. Take care, thanks, man. Buddy. See you, everyone. Bye bye.